Today I'll show you how to create a modern table using the text typing tool in Maya 2020. First, go to Create, select Type Tool. In the Attribute Editor, type the uppercase letter N and click on Create Curves from Type. This will create a 3D text with a curve. Select the 3D text and hit Delete. Select the curve and go to Modify. Center Pivot. Hold down the D key to activate the pivot point. Then hold down the X key to snap the object to the center of the grids. Rotate the curve along X axis in 90 degrees, so the letter is horizontally placed. Scale up the letter, depending on how big you want the table to be. Hold the Command key and hit the D key to duplicate the curve, and move the duplication up. Select both two curves, go to Surfaces and Apply Loft. You may go to the Tool setting to customize the Loft function. I put 6 at Section Spans, and the bigger the number is, the more sections you will create. After Apply Loft function, you will connect the two curve letters together by creating a NURBS object. By moving the curves or rotating them, you can alter the shape of the NURBS object. When you are done, go to Modify, Convert, and Convert NURBS to Polygons. Open the Tool setting. I put the tessellation method as General, and put 25 subdivisions on both U and V. This is the polygon model we generated from the NURBS model. I put it back. Apply Freeze Transformations, and delete its history. This will break its connection with the text curve. Now you can delete the text curve and the NURB object. Hold down the shift key and mouse right key, open insert edge loop tool. In the tool setting, choose relative distance from the edge. Insert an edge loop to each corner of the object. It will help keep the shape when you smooth your model. When you are done, go to Mesh and apply Smooth. Hit the G key to repeat the last action, Smooth. Now, we've finished the table stand. Create a cylinder. Change its subdivisions axis to 60 so the side is smoother. Change its subdivisions caps to 2. Scale it up along X and Z axis. Shrink it along Y axis. Select the center edge loops on top and bottom faces. Scale it up along X and Z axis. Go back to object mode, use insert edge loop tool and create two edge loops on the side. Go to mesh and apply smooth. That's it. Hope you like it. Subscribe and learn more about Maya.